are major differences between AI platforms. And if you use the wrong one, you could actually waste hours. ChatGPT is the leading general purpose AI. So I see ChatGPT as strong in content creation, brainstorming. It's pretty good with coding now. It also has the broadest ecosystem with custom GPTs, projects, uh, connectors, and now even an advanced coding agent named Codex. With the new JGPT-5 model, it feels a bit more like a chief of staff than just an AI assistant. But the steerability of this model, as people call it, also means that you have to prompt it quite differently to get really good outputs. Then there is Gemini. So Gemini is Google's AI. It's natively multimodal, just like ChatGPT, and it deeply integrates with Google Workspace. So it works directly in your Gmail, in your Docs, in your Sheets. We use uh, go the Google Work Suite. So for us, Gemini is really a no-brainer. It also has one of the largest context windows available. This can be up to one or even two million tokens, which makes it really good for analyzing very large documents or projects. And then Google also has some of the strongest external tools like the Imagen 4 image generator, VO3 for video, and their proprietary tool, Notebook LM, which can create amazing summaries of documents, podcasts, and even videos. And the last major platform is Copilot from Microsoft. So Copilot's real and bigger strength is that it's embedded across all of these tools that you would be using in the Microsoft 365 suite. So in Word, in Excel, in Outlook, and Teams, it's powered by the Microsoft Graph. So this basically means that like everything you're doing inside your Microsoft Work Suite now builds kind of a custom AI brain specific to you rather than just the general AI brain. And it can then use that in all of the applications that you work with. So something that it learns from something you do in Word, it could then apply in, for example, an email. At least that's the promise. So this is really a productivity booster first and foremost. It can help with automating work directly in documents. It can work in spreadsheets and email. And it's all optimized for enterprise-grade security and compliance. And that's why a lot of the companies that are already using the Microsoft Suite, it's just the easiest way for them to adopt AI. Although I do now see more companies using than both Copilot and also ChatGPT or another AI.